Hi, my name is Dan Chillo, and I'm going to be one of the Lion uh, Den Den Leaders this year. And joining me is going to be Mr. Nate Ratchin, who's also our committee chair. Uh, both of us have um, older boys who have done scouts before. Um, me personally, I did scouts as a kid. Um, I, I did Cub Scouts for a little bit. I actually earned my uh, Eagle rank when I was uh, older in Boy Scouts. So um, scouting has been a, a special part of uh, our family now, and, uh, and I've got a lot of great memories from when I was a kid. And so I'm really looking forward to, um, to helping share those with you guys this year. Um, I'd really like to know if anybody else uh, out there has got any past scouting experience, any of the parents, maybe you've got, um, maybe you yourself were in scouts, um, maybe you have a, another child who uh, previously did scouts or is in scouts right now. Um, just love to hear and uh, know what your prior uh, scouting experience is because uh, one thing about lions, if you didn't know, um, the lion's den concept is set up a little bit differently than the other scout uh, dens. So um, as you may have seen or, or may, maybe not have known, the uh, lion's uniform, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, for those of you who are you know, maybe about my age and remember back when um, Tigers was uh, the first uh, rank you could join, it used to be just a t-shirt back then, well now lions. Uh, has the t-shirt so you get a, a, a cool lion t-shirt and a ball cap and that's pretty much it as far as the uniform goes um, if you want they do have an optional neckerchief and slide it's yellow it looks pretty cool um, you can go ahead and get yourself a belt and some shorts but those are all strictly optional so don't feel like you have to get those things um, but if you want to go for it um, we went ahead and uh, ordered ours through the um, through the online scout shop and had those delivered and uh, if you look down in the description below this video I'll have a link to all of the uniform items that you need and I'll have it separated between what's you know required and then what's strictly optional. Um, another um, optional item that, uh, that you may want to pick up um, they're giving some out at the uh, parents night um, and there may be some available in the future for purchase or to be given away um, depending on how the pack decides to do that is a, uh, a pack 50 t-shirt um, since you guys already have a, um, a t-shirt, um, it's, it's, again, it's optional, uh, but if you're going to stick with it, you may want to just go ahead and grab one now. Um, for the older boys who have a uniform, more like the traditional uniform like this, when we do outdoor or outside activities, um, you'll, we'll typically refer to that as our Class B uniform, um, and, uh, we'll switch into our t-shirts for games like softball or baseball or, or running events or or hikes, things where we don't want to get our nice uniforms dirty. Um, so those are nice to have. Okay, so you're going to pick up your uniform, and then you're also going to order the Lion Scout Handbook. And um, some of you may have already done that, and some of you may not have, and that's okay. Uh, again, those are available on the Scout Shop, and if you want to order those online, again, look down in the description. I'll have a link for everything that you need and where you can find it. So when you uh, actually order that, you're going to find out that you get you get the lion uh, handbook, but then you also get this uh, den leader guide. Um, within the uh, lion handbook, you're going to find a pretty cool set of stickers, and I'll show you what those are all about in just a minute. And then with the uh, the den leader's guide, you're going to get this um, youth protection uh, handbook. This is for adults. The title is How to Protect Your Children from uh, Your Children from Child Abuse: A Parent's Guide. This is an annual requirement for everybody to complete uh, for Scouts of all ages. There's information for parents in here. Um, it talks about uh, safety things that you can do uh, on your own. It discusses the Boy Scouts of America's safety policies. For example, all leaders like myself and Nate have. Uh, have to go through youth protection certification training um, and then on top of that because we're chartered under uh, the Holy Spirit Men's Club which is a Catholic organization uh, we're additionally required to go through the Catholic Church's uh, Veritas training um, or uh, compliance to be uh, certified leaders within PAC 50 so that's just an added layer on top of what BSA already requires um, and that involves um, fingerprinting training and uh, some uh, database monitoring. So, um, so please go through this. It does have um, some good information in it. Um, 
and it's got um, a lot of great um, question starters. It's got some things to discuss with your child. Uh, I realize that this is you know, an uncomfortable topic, but it's an important topic, and this is something that has been around. This is not a new thing. This has been around for, you know, when I was a kid, I remember going over this. So this is nothing new, although, um, you know, unfortunately, due to a number of uh, reasons, this is getting a little bit more attention in the news. Um, but bottom line, it, it's important, uh, so please don't toss this aside. This is a, an absolute requirement. Um, it's not something we're going to do together. This is something for you to do one-on-one -on -one with your child in whatever manner you feel is appropriate, but you do need to do this, and so um, so don't lose this. That's in there. Um, if you do um, happen to misplace it uh, and you need it, um, it's available online. Just uh, send me an email, and uh, and I will make sure that you get a copy of that. Uh, and as, as far as contact information goes, I'm not going to put my personal email and phone number on this video just because it's on YouTube, and I don't want all kinds of crazy emails from whoever might happen upon this video. But uh, if you email pack50 at holyspiritchurch.us and just say, Hi, uh, I'm looking to join the Lion's Den. Uh, Paul or Nate, uh, Paul's our Cub Master, Paul Eubanks, and uh, Nate Ratchin, again, he's our other den leader, um, and he's the committee chair. One of them will answer that email, and they'll send you my contact information, and then uh, then you'll be on my uh, email list. Okay, But um, for right now, I think that this YouTube channel is going to be the way that uh, I choose to run our meetings. Um, that doesn't mean that um, uh, for those who are comfortable meeting in person, you can't do that. Um, in fact, for um, for Lions, uh, the way it typically works is there's one meeting a month, um, and that meeting will go over one of the uh, requirements. So there'll be uh, you know maybe a half hour of instruction and then some games to be played. And then um, that meeting is accompanied by some sort of outing. Um, so, you know, two years ago when my oldest son Ryan and I did it, we would do the meeting one week and then we would pick a weekend, you know, usually a Sunday afternoon or something like that because that's when folks were available. We'd get together and then, for example, we did a, um, uh, a train museum here in uh, Fairfax. Um, this year, um, obviously, uh, things are a little bit different. Um, I personally have some high-risk family members, so we're going to be doing scouting 100% virtually, and, and that's okay. Uh, don't feel pressured to have to do something in person. It's totally optional. Uh, you can do everything virtually like we're going to be doing it. Um, and some things that we are going to do um, to help make the virtual experience a little bit more um, inclusive or make you feel like you're part of the group is we'll pick something um, and it'll be an outdoor activity somewhere that we can all go to the same place but maybe just not at the same time and uh, we can all sort of have the same experience but on different days whatever works best for your schedule you'll choose to go there and do that um, and then maybe some things you'll just do on your own and, and that's okay too um, but again um, we're, we're gonna figure this out as we go through and, and obviously the weather is gonna get a vote in all of this stuff it's already getting chillier than I had expected it to faster. <laughs> so um, so we'll just make the best of what happens and uh, see how it goes. And if we need to adjust our plan, then, then we'll do that. Um, as far as um, using a platform like Zoom, um, that's certainly an option. But um, right now, I'm, I'm kind of inclined to just do the YouTube uh, thing because uh, it's been my experience that especially the, the younger boys um, are not very comfortable with the Zoom format and, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe that's not the case for you and, uh, and if it isn't, uh, then by all means let me know. Um, if we did do something like that, it probably wouldn't be very long, uh, especially with kids, those can get kind of chaotic quickly. So um, we'll do something uh, short and structured, um, maybe a meet and greet, but, um, but for right now, I think we're going to stick with the, uh, with the YouTube channel. That being said, um, how you participate via YouTube is um, it's, it's up to you. We do have a, a social media policy that uh, should be discussed at the parents' night. Um, if you need a copy of that, uh, if, if that didn't get discussed or you had questions, let me know. And we also have a permission slip that's part of that, and, uh, and you'll sign that and return that to me or the pack, and that will just let us know how you would like to have um, your son 
um, portrayed on, on this YouTube channel. So, for example, if I'm presenting awards, you know, if you don't want me to mention their, their name, um, then I'm happy to not do that. Uh, now, by default, the policy stresses we should only be using first names and not last names. Um, everything that we do is in accordance with the uh, Boy Scouts of America social media guidelines, as well as the uh, Diocese of Arlington. They've got very strict social media guidelines, and we're going to adhere to all of those things. So, um, so you can be confident that um, that whatever gets put out or whatever we're requesting is in fact in line with that. And um, and at no time is any of the content on this channel uh, only within reach of, of one person. In Scouts, we've got something called the Too Deep Leadership Policy. That means that at no time should any child, any scout, be um, be alone with one adult. It doesn't matter who it is. You should always have two people present. Um, and the uh, and the YouTube channel is no different. All of the uh, pack leadership have the login for that. Um, nothing is allowed to be private on there. Everything is public, so there it's an open book. There are no secrets, and uh, and everything has to get reviewed by the pack leadership before it's allowed to be posted, just to ensure compliance. So. Um, so how would, how would that work for, for you? Uh, well, for example, um, part of learning how to be a Lion Scout might be to uh, learn about the Scout Law. So, uh, for example, I, my son Kyle, he might uh, do a video clip of him reciting the Scout Law, um, and we might post that. And I might ask you to do the same thing, and, um, and, per, and maybe you're comfortable doing that, and that's fine. And maybe you're not, and that's okay too. Maybe you just want to send a still picture, um, or not even. Maybe you'd like to um, have your son draw a self-portrait of them doing the scout sign, and then you can just t send me a short email uh, explaining, you know, when you went over it and what you did. And the idea is that I'm going to collect all these things from everybody uh, at the end of the month, and then I'll put it all together in sort of a video collage. That way we're able to share our experiences with each other as we move forward. So I would add my video clip of Kyle uh, saying the Scout Law or us discussing it. Um, Nate, um, maybe he wouldn't feel comfortable sending a video, but um, his son could draw a picture of himself holding up the Scout sign um, and Nate could send me an email saying, hey, we discussed the Scout Law and, um, and we discussed how um, being trustworthy applied in this particular way. Um, and then I would put that into a little video summary at the end of the month and share that with everybody. So the first thing that I'm going to ask before we get into the, uh, the actual Lions program, uh, which will follow this, the thing that I'm going to ask uh, for your Lions to do is to send a picture, draw a self-portrait, or send a video clip of the following. Um, your first name, why you're excited to be a Cub Scout, your favorite color, your favorite food, and what prior scouting experience does your family have. So I'll go first. So, my name is Mr. Dan. Um, I am excited to be a Cub Scout leader because um, I've got two sons, Ryan and Kyle, and Kyle is finally old enough to be a Cub Scout and he had so much fun racing in the sibling race at the Pinewood Derby last year. I just know that this year is going to be a blast, and even though we have to participate virtually, we're going to have so much fun. We're going to do some family campouts in the backyard. We're going to do some uh, some uh, camp camp cooking here at home. Uh, we're going to do all the same stuff that we'd be doing, but here at home. So I'm excited about that. My favorite color is blue. My favorite food is spaghetti and meatballs, and you already know that I've got a lot of um, prior scouting experience. I was a Cub Scout, and uh, both of my sons are Scouts. So I'm looking forward to hearing uh, your names, why you're excited to be a Cub Scout, your favorite color, your favorite food, and any past scouting experience. Now, we're going to leave off here, and for the adults, I'm going to go through a couple slides now and show you pictures of the uh, of the Lion Book, we'll talk about exactly what the steps are, and then uh, hopefully address any of your upfront questions. And I look forward to a great year. See y'all soon. Bye. 
Okay, so what are Lion Scouts? Well, Lion Scouts are kindergarten children um, learning about Cub Scouting. So this is, um, think of it as sort of like Cub Scouting light. It's an introduction to Cub Scouting. Um, lions, uh, they have a uniform, but it's not the full uniform. It's a t-shirt and a ball cap. Um, and um, really, uh, it's an introduction for the whole family to uh, scouting. Um, some of us have got uh, prior scouting experience. Uh, some of us maybe not, and so for those of you who are just uh, joining the Cub, uh, Cub Scouts or um, or maybe have been away um, since you were a kid and now you're coming back as a parent, you know, we welcome you. And this is a great way to uh, sort of get your feet wet and uh, see what Scouts is all about now. So the way we do it is um, it's all about having a, a partner, parent, or, or, uh, or adult partner with you. Um, when you're doing scouting as a lion, um, you know, if you if you did scouts as a, as a child, you know, maybe you, you recall uh, parents dropping you off at a den meeting, and um, and sometimes that that is the case for older scouts, but uh, but for lions, it's it, it's always been you know a team partner um, activity, and it's not a, a, a parents hands off kind of thing. Um, you know, I, I'm here as the den leader to help facilitate, but um, but really, um, that's just uh, you know, in terms of the Lions program, the den leader per se is supposed to just sort of help schedule things, and and really, all of the adult partners should um, should participate in leading a den meeting and um, and getting involved, and really, you know, it's an it's as much of an introduction for the parents as it is for the kids, because um, you know. We can't have a Cub Scout pack, and we can't put on this program without the involvement of parents. And um, especially for those who are new to scouting, it can seem kind of overwhelming and daunting. Um, you know, a den leader. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Or you know, I never did this as a kid, and this is all new to me. Um, so you know, fear not. Um, if you saw that den leader book when you ordered the uh, the lion uh, handbook, no, that was not a mistake. Um, you were supposed to get the Den Leader book as a parent um, because you are um, going to have a turn as the Den Leader, um, and even more so now that we're uh, doing this virtually. So, uh, okay, so what do you need to get started? Well, like I, I showed you uh, in the video earlier, you're going to order um, a, a handbook for Lions, okay? So when you order that handbook, it comes as a complete packet. Um, you're not going to order these things separately, but you'll get the Lion Den Leader Guide and you'll get the Lion Cub Scout Handbook. Included with that is the Youth Protection Pamphlet and a set of stickers. So, um, so when Lions complete their requirements, they actually, you know, they stick a sticker in their book on their little Lion Trail. And that's the, uh, that's how they get recognized for their achievement. And then at the end of the year, um, they'll earn their uh, their lion badge, which is a, a, a yellow rectangle that gets sewn on their uh, their new uh, tiger uniform, which is the standard blue uh, blue Cub Scout uniform. Okay, so um, so please uh, don't toss that den leader uh, book aside and assume that that doesn't apply to you because yes, it does. Um, but fear not, it is uh, very straightforward, um, and I can tell you, you know, as uh, somebody who stepped into this, um, not necessarily expecting to be a den leader, but, uh, you, you know, I wouldn't say I, I was shying away from it, but uh, I wasn't exactly uh, jumping up and down, waving my arms like, pick me, pick me. Um, it's really, really not that bad. So I, I did it for tigers last year, I'm doing it for wolves this year, and, and also uh, helping out with lions. I mean, it's black and white. It's all spelled out in that leader guide. Um, and for the older boys, it's, it's in black and white in the book. You know, there's no guesswork uh, involved. There's no prior experience needed. It's all written out in excruciating detail for you to follow. So, um, so hopefully this is a, a good opportunity for you to, um, to recognize that, um, that, uh, that you can do this. And, uh, and hopefully you're, you know, <laughs> that doesn't scare you. Hopefully it, you come away realizing at the end of this adventure together that, hey, you know, 
I can be a little bit more involved next year. Uh, and hopefully um, your son walks away from this thinking, wow, that was a lot of fun. Um, I really like doing those activities. Um, I liked, you know, going camping um, or whatever the case may be. Um, hopefully, you know, you both come away with a, a good uh, feeling about uh, scouting because, quite frankly, we can't do this without adult volunteers. Um, we are, you know, it, it seems like every year we're we're struggling to find parents to step up and help out, and there are all kinds of ways that you can help out as a uh, as a parent within uh, PAC 50. Um, certainly, you could be a den leader, um, and uh, and uh, you can you can go that route. You can be an assistant den leader. If you if you say, well, you know, gee, I'd, I'd like to be involved. Um, I'm, I'm all about it, but I just you know, due to um, maybe work, I don't have, I can't commit to being a, a den leader where I'm regularly available, you know, at predictable times, like I work, you know, odd hours, or I tend to work late during the week, um, that's fine. Um, the PAC has some committee um, positions available. There are formal committee, uh, formal positions like, um, like the treasurer and the secretary, assistant cubmaster, cubmaster, um, and then we just need general uh, uh, volunteers to be on the PAC committee, and that's not a specific, you know, billet to use kind of a military term, <laughs> but it's just, hey, um, help us plan some events, and you know, maybe not all of the events, but maybe just sign up to help, to help plan one event, whether that's, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure how things are going to work out this year, but, you know, using a, a normal non-COVID year example, the Blue and Gold Banquet is our yearly banquet, and we need parents to volunteer and help with that. Or the Pinewood Derby Race. Um, there's all kinds of planning that goes into that and uh, set up and break down. So there's plenty of opportunities to be involved, and there is something that you can do that will fit within your, your work schedule, your lifestyle, that will allow you to help participate. But I can't stress enough how important it really is for everybody to um, to participate. So, um, so again, don't toss that den leader guidebook aside. Crack it open, take a look at it. Don't be afraid. Um, and uh, and as we move through this year, I will probably be asking for volunteers to help lead some videos. Um, you know, uh, you don't have to have um, movie production <laughs> skills, but if you can take a video on your cell phone. And, uh, and, and somebody can hold the camera for you while you explain or, or give a, a little talk or a lesson, you can send it to me and I will, you know, snazz it up and upload it to YouTube um, or whatever we need to do. But, um, but I will be asking for some help. So, so please, you know, don't, don't be uh, shocked when that request comes out. Um, and, uh, and I hope you're excited. Okay, so let's talk uniform. So I already discussed... Um, the uniform requirements. As far as you know, what are you absolutely required to, to have? A t-shirt and a ball cap. Okay, that's it. Just like in this picture here, there's a Lions ball cap and a Lions t-shirt. Wear whatever shorts, pants you want. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you want, um, you can also opt in and you know say, hey, we're, we're all in. We're, we're excited. We're going to stick with it. We're going to be doing the Tigers next year. Cool. Or maybe your, you know, your son is just really excited and wants to get that full uniform. Um, maybe, maybe you've got an older uh, son who, who did scouts, and so you know they, they want to look like Big Brother. Um, and so um, you can uh, certainly opt for the the blue Cub Scout shorts and the blue Cub Scout web belt. Those are also optional lion component, uh, lion lion uniform components. So, um, you know, feel free to pick those up. And new, um, I, I believe it's new this year, is a Lions neckerchief and slide. Uh, you can wear those with your t-shirt too. So, a couple of different options. Um, but all that you need to have are the, uh, the t-shirt and the shorts. So, um, so there you go. Okay, so what will we be covering this year? Well, here's the Lion Trail. There are several required adventures and then we have to do at least one elective adventure and as you can see here as you as we complete these adventures you're going to take that sticker and, and paste it onto the uh to the trail 
um, one friendly suggestion is to uh, to take that sticker book and uh, put it somewhere safe. Um, maybe pin it to the refrigerator with a, a magnet. Put it in a safe drawer because um, there's there's nothing worse than losing that thing um, partway through the year and then you can't find the stickers. Um, or somebody gets um, overly excited and peels off all the stickers before you even know what's going on and then they're stuck onto paper somewhere else. Um, they're, you know, they're not for, uh, they're not a toy. They're actually for the, uh, for the book. So, um, so maybe hang on to those and put those in a uh, special spot where they're not going to get lost. But I will, um, I will go through each adventure now very briefly and then, um, and then we'll talk about uh, what to do uh, for each one and, and kind of what I'm thinking. All right, so. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of the uh, lion adventures now. Um, there are uh, several required, and then um, we're going to do at least one elective. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the electives, but I will talk about the required adventures, starting with Lion's Honor, which is on page 28 of the Den Leaker's Guide. Okay, so Lion's Honor is our first adventure, and this is all about... Um, really kind of uh, getting that introduction to scouting. So we'll discuss the Cub Scout sky sign, the motto, and the salute. And then once we uh, learn those, then we'll uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance while doing the uh, sign. Um, we'll also um, introduce ourselves, and we'll do that by drawing a self-portrait, uh, something that um, not only is a, a drawing of yourself, but something that describes the things that you're interested in. So you might include like a favorite food or favorite sport, um, favorite uh, TV show, movie character, something like that. Uh, maybe describe um, your family members, so if you've got a brother or sister, uh, that, that sort of thing. Um, the outing for this is supposed to be a pack meeting uh, where we show these uh, self-portraits. So um, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll collect those into a video collage and then we'll uh, uh, post those to the pack announcements section of the um, of the YouTube channel, and uh, and then that will be incorporated in the next pack meeting and um, at the next pack event, which I think will be virtual because um, of the weather. Uh, we'll just uh, dial into that, so uh, that will cover the meeting portion of Lion's Honor, <clears throat> and um, and the outing. Okay. Animal Kingdom is the next required adventure, and this is all about um, learning about uh, patriotism and community service. So, uh, of course, we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance like we always will. Um, and then um, we're going to develop a sense of community awareness and responsibility, and you can follow along on page 32 in the Denlinger Guide. Um, if anybody is a first responder or has a family member or a close family friend who is a first responder who would uh, like to... Um, help out by either recording a, uh, a message about um, about their experience and what they do or maybe um, participating in a zoom phone call where where they give a short presentation that would be great otherwise um, between Nate and I we can discuss um, our military service and um, and fulfill that part of the requirement the other part is to talk about um, emergency preparedness and so there's a, a little matching game that you play and then um, also uh, part of that can be to uh, put together a, a family uh, home uh, first aid kit. So you'll do that. Um, and then for the outing, the outing for this adventure is supposed to be some sort of a um, service project, something small. Um, and uh, that can be at your home, um, maybe planting flowers or, or planting something in a garden bed, um, pulling weeds from a garden bed, or if you'd like and you feel comfortable doing it, you can maybe get some gloves, walk around your, your neighborhood, walk up around your street, your block, and, um, and clean up any litter. Or if you live close by a park, um, you could do the same thing there. So that's what we'll do for, uh, for that activity and outing. Fun on the Run is the next requirement, and um, and this one uh, we may have to um, to delay until the springtime based on the weather, but um, we'll see uh, see where we get. Like I said, this these will be a once a month uh, deal, so uh, this may not even come up until about March, but um, we'll just see what happens. Um, and this is all about uh, getting out and uh, 
playing some games, you know, we'll do um, a red light, green light. Um, we can either do that uh, a pre-recorded thing, or you can just do that on your own at home with some uh, siblings. We've got some sing-alongs, um, and then um, part of the uh, the uh, the activity is to um, to put together a nutritious snack, so something like a like a trail mix, and your scout can help by um, either if you have the uh, the uh, the foods uh, to put that snack together on hand. Um, he can help identify them from the house and gather them up and mix them together, or uh, he can help uh, put together a shopping list, and uh, you can uh, get those items, then he can put them together, and then we can um, share what kind of a snack we put together. The activity for Fun on the Run is a, uh, is a field day, um, and that consists of a couple events, like uh, like balancing with a uh, beanbag on your head and doing some arm curls with suit cans, uh, jumping jacks, that kind of thing. So um, that can be a backyard family field day, and um, and uh, all the information is in the donator guide, and that's uh, that's pretty easy to do. So you'll just do that um, on your own. Okay. King of the Jungle is the next adventure, and this adventure is all about uh, being a good citizen, learning about uh, leadership, and um, the highlight is a uh, uh, learning the parts of a flag ceremony. So with respect to that, we'll, we'll get a little bit creative on that one because on a normal year we would all do a flag ceremony at a PAC meeting, um, and um, by the time this comes up, you know, some of you may... Uh, want to do that in person, and, and there might be an opportunity to do that. Some of you maybe not. Um, either way is fine. Um, we'll discuss the uh, parts of a flag ceremony. We'll um, certainly watch some examples of a flag ceremony being conducted, and then um, and then you'll either do one at home, or uh, some of you may choose to participate in a pack meeting and do one together. Uh, the outing for this adventure is to uh, to observe either some Boy Scouts or to observe uh, Weevilos. So what I'm thinking is we'll set up a, uh, a Zoom phone call with uh, the Weevilos 2 den with uh, Mr. Dave, and um, and we'll maybe do 15 minutes with them, and they can just t discuss um, what it is that Weevilos do and how they're preparing to make that transition to Boy Scouts, and, and they can maybe talk about some of the uh, fun things that they remembered or that they were excited about when they were uh, younger Scouts, um, and maybe answer some questions. So that will be the, the adventure, and that will most likely be a, a Zoom call uh, because that's how they have been doing their meetings up to now. Um, if they are doing some in-person things, and that's something that you'd like to participate in, then you know, by all means you'll have that option. Okay, so the uh, last adventure that's required for lions is the mountain lion adventure, and that's on page 50 of the Den Leader Guide. Um, this one will uh, be in the uh, in the late spring after it warms up, uh, because this involves going on a hike. So, uh, like I mentioned in the parents' video, I'll pick a, a trail with a section that we can all do together with a, a start and an end point, and uh, before that, we'll cover some um, preparedness and uh, and buddy system uh, things. And, uh, and that will just about wrap up all the requirements for Alliance this year. And then we'll select one elective, and that'll be the end. Okay, that wraps up this video. And uh, I realize this was uh, a little bit on the long side. I uh, appreciate your attention. Thank you for taking the time to listen to everything I had to say. Um, in the future, you know, these videos, especially the ones for the boys, are going to be short. I'm thinking no more than about, you know, 10 minutes. The point is not to be you know, in front of a screen, it's to be out uh, having family fun together and uh, learning about Cub Scouts. So, um, but this is just trying to cover all the uh, the questions preemptively that might come from a parents meeting. And, uh, and of course, I'm always available by phone or email if you need anything. Um, uh, I'm not going to put my email on this um, public website, but um, if, you, if you don't have it already, email pack50 at Holy Spirit church.us and uh, just ask them to put uh, put you in contact with me and then I'll give you my phone number and my email and we will go from there so thank you for your attention please let me know if you have any questions and I'm looking forward to having a great year bye